Wait there, citizen. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, but the museum is currently closed off until further notice. Uh, closed until further note? I was only gone five minutes. Oh, you're the proprietor of the collection here, aren't you? Then right on the proprietor. Orion told me I should be expecting you eventually. There's been a situation at the museum, and Orion has called the priests of Arcade to assist. I am Brother Rickard. Okay. Uh, nice, nice to meet you. Oh, God. It's not... Somebody's not died, have they? Please tell me somebody's not died. Well, actually, that's what we're trying to find out. You see, the museum is apparently plagued by a ghost of some kind. And it's begun to unnerve the patrons and Orion himself. A ghost? Therefore, he closed the museum to the public until this could be sorted out. What, what do you mean, a ghost? I've never seen or heard a ghost or felt any unnatural presence. Not that I'm an expert. But it, it never seemed like there was... Well, there was the mannequin, actually, upstairs that seemed to move on its own. Which, when I confronted in Inigo and Lucian on it, as a prank, they didn't really seem to know anything about it. Uh, is this spirit dangerous? It's uncertain at this point. Most spirits merely have some unfinished business that preoccupies their minds and souls, binding them to Mundus. But they can become rather testy if they're not appeased eventually. Right. Um, well... I, I can't want to say have fun with that. I don't do ghosts. But it is my museum. And I don't really know about you. What do you need from me? Oh, is there anything I can do to help resolve this situation? Because, oh, when the gallery's not open, it's not getting donations or any income either. And I live here. Oh, I live here. Right, what do you need from me? Well, you know the museum better than most. I'll need some help discovering the spirit's reasons for being here. Okay. There are almost always clues as to the spirit's motivation and the place that they chose to haunt. Also, if something does go awry, I'd prefer to have someone capable at my side. Inigo, got it. You're talking about Inigo. Um, so what do we need to do? According to Orion, the ghost is more active at night, so we should return here at nightfall. Say, around nine, and we'll see what we can discover. Can I, can I just go in? Um, well, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to carry on what I was doing. If I see the ghost, I'll let you know. But I'll come out and see you in the evening, yeah? Okay, are we just overreacting about this? Oh, it's locked. Oh, I left my keys inside because I thought it was open. Wait, what about the, um... Excuse me, Brother Ricard. Yeah, you can keep waiting. Oh, I don't want to open the secret entrance with him right there watching. Well, there goes my plans to make Lucy in a new set of armor. I guess I'm going to kill a bit of time in the Explorer Society. Or can I get into the gallery through the guild house? Oh! Have we locked that door too? Or can I still sneak in? No, no, that door is thoroughly locked. I guess I'll have a nap then. It seems like we might have a long night ahead of us. Well, certainly a murky night for ghost hunting. Brother Rickard, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. Is it time? I'll be waiting until nightfall. Oh, is it? Not quite time then. Uh, what do you do with a priesthood then? Are you. Do you often do this sort of thing? Root out, you know, spirits that haven't moved on? Well, as my presence at the museum would indicate, I'm an exorcist of sorts. My job is to investigate and find the cause for hauntings and see if there are non invasive ways to appeasing them. Non invasive? You mean like taking a silver sword to them? I do have a silver sword on me. I might want to make sure that's at the ready. Who are the priests of Arke? And don't say priests who worship Arke. Please, please don't say that. Because you kind of, you took on a tone when he said, well, as my presence at the museum will imply. I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. That seemed a bit patronizing. Arke is the divine of life and death. He ensures that the spirits of the dead are allowed to rest as nature intended. Okay, so that's why you're here then. Well, I'm ready to delve on in if you are. Excellent. Let's see what we can discover. I'll have a look around the main hall while you investigate the library. 
Right. Look for anything you think is out of place. Anything out of place in the library? Okay. Have you got the oh mail? Commission notice. Dear Arcadius, I am writing to inform you I have finished your commission. You can come pick up your order at any time you deem opportune. I'm... I would love to go and pick up my order, but I don't think 2,000 Septims is going to cover it. We might just have to risk it. Because right now would be the best time to have a new this set of armor. certainly can put one on edge all alone at night. Yeah, it can. Usually it's comforting because the guards are normally patrolling around. What have we done with the guards, by the way? Have we just sent them home? I will... Would have thought they'd have been keeping people away. Well. This is different. I'm going to assume this is not an elaborate prank by Inigo and Lucian while I nip down the road. That's a lot of work. Speaking of Inigo and Lucian and Shirley, are they still locked up in the safe house? Or did they go stay at the Winking Skeever or something? Quite an interesting place this building is. A lot of history here. It is, isn't it? It used to be... A temple? I can't remember what Orion said when I first arrived. I can hear music as well. Oof. What? Okay, don't like that. Uncommon taste, a brief history of the Empire. Where did that come from? Grendel's drunken son. I kind of don't want to pick up the ghost books. I'm my own grandpa. By Gail Doll, the funniest wood elf ever. How many orcs does it take to light a torch? Depends. Is an orc doing the counting? What is green and hops and sizzles on lava? An orc acrobat. Why did the dark elf cross the road? Nothing. If a wood elf mime falls in a forest, who cares? If you drop a Khajiit head first from a great height, will it land on its feet? Not if you cut off the feet first. Definitely not the funniest wood elf alive. You know what? Where is it? Let's, uh... Here we are. We see any undead some notes there, but let's read them after we've resolved this situation, shall we? Mm, I don't like that. It feels like something keeps coming dangerously close to me. Now that's just rude. Oh, it's gonna take so long to clean all that up. Oh. Pages? Oh! Okay, now the pages are back. Stuff's being thrown everywhere. That's a quill. Inkwell. The saber cat. That cover looks like it's made out of Saber Cat. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking for. All of this looks pretty damn unusual to me. Not a fan of that at all. You you gonna clear the way? Thank thank you. Right, think. What relics have we brought here? That's not creepy. What relics have we brought here lately that might have upset something or someone? There was Gravedigger. That was a pretty ominous looking weapon. I'm, 
my mind's going blank. Are they angry that we've built this explorer society? Do they just want peace and quiet? Do they not like that more and more people are trespassing around what it thinks is its place? Is there only one spirit? Or is there more than one? Still not entirely certain. Where are those pages? If I look away. I look back, they're there. I look away. No, they're still there. Why do they disappear sometimes? Hello? A letter from Niles. 16th of Rain's Hand. Hello, my dearest. I hope this letter finds you well. I miss you greatly, and can hardly wait to bring you here to solitude and show you what I have laboured over for the past several months. It will be a place of greatness, to be certain. I won't go into detail, because I wish it to be a surprise when I am able to bring you here. All I can say is that I miss you more with each passing day. But we must remain steadfast and patient. Soon my work will be complete, and we'll be together again. Your love, Niles. Well, I don't like, I don't like it when it feels like something's getting close. Let's go see Brother Ikand, or Ikard. Let's go see the priest. I've never met a Niles. Certainly not one relevant to our gallery. I don't like the sound of what he's been working towards, though. Oh, there you are. Uh, I'll put my sword away. I mean you no harm. I'm just what awfully spooked. What place this building is. A lot of history here. Yep. Any history about a man named Niles, do you know? This place certainly can put one on edge all alone at night. Really does. Especially with, you know, all the furniture stacked around and the pages flying about the place. I found this letter. Interesting. This is a personal letter from Lord McNarian to his wife. Lord Macunian? Lord Macnarian was the benefactor who paid for and oversaw the construction of the original sections of the building. It looks as if the seal was broken a long time ago, perhaps delivered and then recovered by the original sender. Whatever its fate, the letter almost certainly has something to do with the ghostly presence around here. Let's keep looking about, but do be careful. I think the spirit is starting to become agitated. Becoming? Weapons, Starting? The walls right behind me and many of the dishes in the reception hall flew off the table and landed at my feet. I'm a bit tired, to be honest. Trying to attune my senses to an unknown specter has really taken its toll. I think I'm going to go have a lie down in the staff barracks for a couple hours. A lie down? I suggest you use one of the other beds in there and get a little rest as well. We're going to need to stay sharp. How can you sleep at a time like this? There's weapons falling off the racks. There's plates being flung through the air. Books being launched at us. And have you been in the library? There's, there's a letter where we don't know... How did it get between those volumes? There was nothing in it. We would have found it by now if it would have there to begin with. Though it was placed there by something and you want to take a nap. A nap at a time like, oh my word, right? No, Well, Lord knows I'm not gonna go and explore this on my own. And supposedly, supposedly you're the expert. Right, well, if he's going to have a nap... I mean, he's got his back to the open room. I'm going to have my back to the wall. That's something. Fine. Fine, let's, let's rest for an hour then. If that's what you need. Laid down to rest and slept for two hours. Oh, good. You're awake. You have to come see this. Oh, good. What's the noise? The mannequins seem to have come to life on their own. What do you mean, oh yes? Begun to wander around the museum, while their compatriots have apparently barricaded themselves in from the other side. But no, this is actually what I wanted to show you. I can't explain it beyond saying there's Ooh. definitely something awry here. They're trying to get our attention. But yeah, what they exactly got our attention. They to say is beyond me. I'm gonna go take a look around the east exhibit halls. 
why don't you search the Gallery of Natural Science? And I believe there's a storeroom under the staff barracks that might be worth searching. Why do I get a feeling that you're somehow involved in all of this? It didn't even occur to me where the furniture was gone. I only noticed that it was gone. You know, I'm mainly impressed that none of the food is falling down, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to chance it. I know when I walk into that, it is all going to start falling down. Right. Hall of Natural Sciences, you say. And the storeroom under the staff barracks. Um. Well, it's certainly a step up from... A static mannequin moving across a room. Good evening. Tiresome work, isn't it? Are they just imitating things they've seen us do? Is that imitating Avram drinking on the job? Seems happy. Oh, the storeroom. Let's have a look. Now, Spirit, I know that you put a lot of effort into stacking these bottles, but... Could you have something better to do with your time than to haunt? What are we looking for? This was down here to begin with. This is... keep getting the sense that something's coming up behind me. This is the Debouge portal, which has long been inactive. And some kind of... Maybe this is what the building originally looked like before all the work was done to it. What are we looking for? We found a letter last time. Is it going to be another letter? Oh, hello. Mac... Narian's portrait. Now that looks like one affluent man. I've never seen clothes in quite that style, though. It's from Cyrodiil, perhaps? Early Empire? It doesn't look that Nordic. Found a portrait. And let's not disturb that tower of wine bottles. I'm going to assume there's nothing left in here. And being below ground is making me more and more uneasy. Okay. Hi. Oh, you're, go you're going back to reveling, are you? I thought you might have been unhappy that I took the portrait. And you just... You keep up the good work. Yep. See, we're friends. Nausea Rise. That's the Stormcloak Manifesto, I think. Right. East Exhibit Halls. That was uh, the Priest's Realm. Honestly, at least that Falma mannequin hasn't come to life. That would be rather frightening to see patrolling the halls. I hear running water. There is a fountain below here, though, isn't there? A little one. Yeah, it's proper barricaded. We're not getting that open. Why have they barricaded themselves in where some have been running out? Oh, upstairs. We want to be upstairs. Hey, oh, well, hang on a minute. A glass mat? We don't have that armor set. What are you? We don't have a whole set of orcish armor, do we? We definitely don't have the glass armor. Where have you come from? Or is this like the wax replicas we had in the back office? I'm going to assume that's what that is. They've got a sense of style then, clearly. Is the floor wet? Yes, water here. Why is the Hall of Natural Science got water coming out of it?
Uh oh. Oh, hello. Okay. We good. We good. Oh. Back. Ow. Okay. Nope. Where's my Osiris to say, but. Oh. Oh. Did not expect all of that. Oh, now I wish we hadn't fleshed out this exhibit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Right. Tree, what? Are they all hostile to each other? Oh, you're not. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I swore. Right, elk. Stay out of the way. Let's let the rest of the predators fight it out amongst themselves. No. Amongst yourselves. Don't spit at me. Oh, back. Ow. Shrug the oils. Just shrug oils. Spider. Oh, not the chorus. Why? Oh, the saber cat I'm worried about too. Just keep swinging. There we go. Okay. Okay. You want to play, kitty? Come on. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's it. Come on. Good kitty. Okay. Keep staggering. Magic sword. Okay. That's blood. These things were given life. This is a very powerful spirit, in my opinion. Um. Do I need to claim the uh, the materials back, I wolf? Do I? I'm going to have to rebuild these, I think. Oh, the... oh, that's why it's flooded. They got rid of the glass. At least the fish survived. Oh, they got the... the dog. Oh, this is going to be so much work to clean up. Oh lord, thank god there are no dragons in this exhibit. If we really did have a legendary dragon in that exhibit, who knows? That'd be a, that'd be a big old write-off on this investment of a museum. Is there anything else even here other than potential death? That's a lot of running around by all sorts of creatures. Oh, hello. Old journal. 17th of Sun's Height. 10th of Frostfall. Progress on the new temple is moving along quite well. Labor issues are minimal, but supply problems plague me at every turn. You wouldn't think that quarrying stone could be any harder in the frozen north than anywhere else in Tamriel. But the hardened ground is in fact making it difficult to pry the larger stones free for breaking them down into blocks. We've exhausted most avenues here, and are having some stone brought in from Markarth, though it will take some time. We did uncover a nice deposit of marble, though not substantial enough for construction, but I will save it for a statue perhaps. The statue of Talos is completed already, so perhaps I can use the marble for a gift or dedication of the building. I'm told that the building will be named for us and called Macnarian Hall. A painting was commissioned, and as much as I hate sitting still for so long, I have obliged them and a painting was made. A painting I found. It will be nice to have my portrait up to commemorate the great efforts here, but I have other plans of commemorating the achievement. Other plans? What other plans would they be? This is gonna cost a fortune to clean up. Let's try and find Brother Ickard. We have a portrait and we have a waterlogged journal. Did he say he was going to be in the East Exhibit Hall? Down here, he can't have be down there still. It seems locked up. Brother Rickard? You... Gone back to bed? Br 
brother Ricardo. The barrels might be new. Or if they're not, I really didn't notice them before. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over you for you. Anything? We must have missed each other. I came in through the top. And you must have come out through the bottom. Uh, Brother Ricard. This place certainly can put one on edge all alone at night. You've said that already a couple of times now. I found this waterlogged journal in a room full of mannequins that came alive and tried to kill me. Interesting. Well, it's clear that we're dealing with the disquieted spirit of Lord Magnarian himself. Don't sound too worried about my well-being. Well I'm not exactly sure why he would be upset. The hall had always been named for him, prior to it being a museum. Perhaps he feels forgotten, maybe? I don't... Uh, Magnarian Hall doesn't really have the same ring to it as Dragonborn Hall, but... We, we've got the painting. Could we put that on display? That's a distinct probability. The journal makes mention of a portrait of him that was commissioned. Yeah, I've got that here too. Do you recall ever seeing such a painting hanging in the museum? Not hanging. I, I, but I found it in the uh, in the storeroom before. I don't recall seeing it there previously, though. Oh, fantastic! Let's go ahead and hang it up somewhere prominent in the reception hall. Okay. Somewhere prominent in the reception hall. There is a fireplace. Keep up the good work. Mannequin, whom I trust not to hurt me. And you, reveling one. Yep, let's put that painting right here, shall we? Perfect. Great. And now we rest. By morning, I suspect all this unpleasantness will be over. But we should spend the night here just to make sure there's nothing else the spirit is looking for. Okay. Those sound like famous last words. That by morning, I suspect it'll all be over. It doesn't to me feel like it's all going to be over. Where are you going, by the way? You wanted to sleep in the staff barracks, fine. I'm taking the same spot as before, against the wall. I'd rather you sleep next to me. Because I am a massive scaredy cat and I don't know where my friends are. Lay down to rest and sleep for two hours. What happened in the two hours I've been asleep? Oh, but what? What? Brother, Brother Rickard? Brother Rickard. Oh, why am I little bucket? Black Horse Courier? The Black Horse Courier Evening Start. This is a, a, a cyrodylic newspaper. Word from High Rock has come that Lady Aurelia McInerian was found dead on the fourth of Evening Start. Following a tragic fire that broke out in the east wing of McNarian Estate. The Magistrate of Wayrest has investigated, but the cause of the fire has not been released to the public, though they say foul play has not been ruled out. Lady Aurelia was the wife of wealthy philanthropist Lord Niles McNarian, who is best known for his work in building and establishing various temples dedicated to the Nine Divines all across Tamriel. His recent work has taken him to Skyrim where he has been hard at work overseeing the construction of a new temple to the Talos based in solitude. The news of his dear wife's demise came as quite a shock to him, and in an ill-fated night of drunken mourning, he either stumbled or threw himself off the cliffs of the building site into the sea, far below the Arch of Solitude. His body was unfortunately never found. The project, however, saw itself through its completion a few weeks later, and a new temple was dedicated and named Magnarian Hall in their memory. He didn't survive the jump, did he? That's a big old jump to survive. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be hanging around here and breathing in all the smoke. Maybe I should hang around here and breathe in all the smoke. Okay, or maybe I br breathed in too much smoke already. Oh, sugar break! Oh. oh, I'm panicking. Okay. And you. Oh, ow. Are we good? Is that all of you? What on earth is... Oh, that's not where a spear should be. That's not... That's not anywhere a spear should ever go. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Where's the door gone? There's a door there, 
and it's gone and there's spiders and bodies and webs. I'm not hanging around to find out. Oh, there's Armin's family sword. I'm glad that somebody's put that to good use. Oh, he's not going to tell me what he saw. Somebody is clearly very unhappy with Lord Magnarian. Oh, there's a body in the fire. With a septum on it. I'm going to leave that septum be. <gasps> what? The hell was that? I've got to be dreaming. I... I've not seen half. Half these exhibits here before. Oh, tell me I'm not seeing the future. Take a... a... a douge? Can't remove them from the walls. I... I... We ain't in solitude anymore. Why is it always music boxes? <laughs> Hello? Don't be a creepy girl. We've had... Oh, no, it's not the lady from Clockwork Manor, is it? It's not that ghost. No, we dealt with the ghost. We dealt with the ghost, didn't we? She was reunited with... Lamash, too. Oh, it's her. It looks like her. Oh, no, no, back, back. No, not about this. No, please. Hello? Anyone? Oh, hello. What's wrong with your face? Old journal? Do you want me to read this? Night of Evening Star. I received news today of my dear Aurelia's death. How can the divines treat me so? How can the divines treat me so? Have I not toiled tirelessly to use my fortunes and my skills to glorify their names? Am I deserving of such blatant disregard and malice? I just cannot bear this pain. Even as I write these words, I know that my heart died with you, my dear wife. I will press onward, though, somehow, and finish this building and dedicate it to you, as it is my most beautiful work, befitting of you, and will be my last. I just had the commission drawn up yesterday for a marble statue to be, to be built in your likeness, and came to the agreement with the sculptor, paying the deposit to start the work, and had not the chance to deliver the official agreement and balance owed, but it seems now that it will be a memorial of you rather than a tribute. Oh, how I wanted you to see this place and to see your statue adorn the entrance. All I can hope now is that you will gaze down upon me from the sea to the divines and smile. I suppose a drink is in order to drown my sorrow, and perhaps the cold air and a walk out back will aid to clear my thoughts. Then I will deliver the commission agreement and payment first thing in the morning. Okay. Oh, I feel faint. Oh, good. You're awake. What? Are you all right, my friend? No. When I woke up, you were gone from the barracks and lying on Sky? the couch out here on the floor. I had the worst nightmare. <laughs>